Yo, what's up? This is Joe, An Chi Me. And uh, yeah, I got a vegetarian special for you guys. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else has created it yet, but if not, it's for me. <laughs> All right, so uh, you wanna get in the video or you okay with that? That's good. Are you good? Yeah. All right, no worries. All right, well, I, um, I got my friend helping me today, but I'm gonna uh, just keep him anonymous for now. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, here's what you're gonna need for this uh, vegetarian thing. Let's see. So we got two big green bell peppers, a uh, large carrot, and we're only gonna use half the onion. We don't need the whole thing. So um, we got that, a nice stainless steel pot, a uh, big knife, and we got honey. Uh, I doubt this is raw honey, but um, it's honey, so. <laughs> uh, that's what we're gonna need, and um, yeah, we're gonna dice them up and uh, We'll get back to that later. Okay, all right, so we got uh, chopped up pineapple. Um, I didn't say this before, but we got some rice. Uh, <laughs> and uh, got some carrots and everything from a vendor. Got our own carrots, and we got the chopped up uh, green bell pepper. All right, plus we got the honey, and uh, let's cook this thing. So we got that, and uh, there we go. Yep, all right, so let this sit for a little bit, let the juices boil. The good thing about this is that you do not need oil, so uh, the pineapple juice and the honey that we're about to put in is the oil base for this, so, all right. Oh, thank you, that's like it, sir. Yeah. All right, all right, so we got the liquid honey. Don't want too much, just a nice drizzle, get the sweetness. And if you can smell it, it has a nice and sweet pineapple honey scent. And uh, this is extremely easy to cook at home. Uh, chop, chop up everything and let it sit for about, I would say two minutes, let the juices run out. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, cool, so it's been about two minutes and now you can get a close up of this. The boiling and uh, the juices that finally uh, came out. So now we just put in all the vegetables, and this makes a good coloring. And I put the vegetables in before the rice, only because the rice will soak up the juices very quickly, and uh, it'll be hard to get that oil pastry type uh, mix in there. But yeah, you don't want too many vegetables because it can cause an overkill flavor. But put them in there, dice them up real nice, and it's uh, just have them sit there and let it simmer so the vegetables can get soft, and when you eat it, it's just a nice mixture of flavor. Also, the vegetables have a uh, nice uh, water content, so that also helps with the uh, pineapple juice and the honey mix. So, it's got a constant, like, uh, nice seal of unstickery. <laughs> So, plus everything here gives it a really nice color. Yeah, that's uh, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get the onions over there? Yeah. Man needs some onions. Yes, yeah, chef. Of course, needs some onions. Gives it the flavor. Oh yeah. So, as you see here, I have the onions a little bit bigger in size because you want to have that real kick when you eat it. So. Maybe cut it too much, but whatever. Don't do any talk of it. If you don't use all of it, you can just save it for later, obviously. So. Now we have a lot here because I thought I was going to be cooking for five people, <laughs> but it's only three, so uh, if we have any left over, I'll just take it home. It's all good. This is why friends don't back out of plans. <laughs> true, true. Um, just as a uh, update, we have one friend, I will not say her name, but she can never come with us unless we drag her with us. Um, but yeah, she always finds a way to get out. So, not cool, but we still love her, so it's okay. Yeah. So, we got this going. Uh, we don't want it to dry out. Because it is not oil, it is just juice, so uh, put it on a low, low simmer. 
for about three to four minutes so everything can just soften up. And then later we're gonna put the rice in for that final thing. Rice is easy because it's already cooked and it just soaks up the flavor, it's like tofu. So, it's all good. So, wait for three minutes and then come back. Yeah, cool. All right, so basically this is Taiyuan City from I guess the uh, moderate sky view. And right now it's looking pretty good, but usually it's pretty cloudy and pretty polluted, as I've said in my other videos. Um, yeah, so it looks like a pretty decent, decent city, and it is. Um, but in the winter time, especially, this place can get extremely polluted um, to the point where you just can't go outside. I know many people from Beijing say we have it um, pretty easy, which we do in terms of comparison to Beijing, but. Um, compared to anywhere else in the world, in the Western world at least, it gets extremely bad. So, um, but this is, I guess, the rainy season because it's been raining a lot lately. So, uh, rain cleans up everything here, all the pollution on the ground and in the air, um, and it's good. So, I like it here now, but during the morning and late at night, the pollution can still kick back in at any time. So. Um, but for right now, just enjoy it while we got it, so, <laughs> cool. Alright, so, uh, as you can see now, it's starting to get like a nice boil from the juices. Everything has softened up. And, uh, about to add in this rice. Uh, yeah. Here you go, Chef. Thank you. Alright. Anchi Ming Chef, Anchi Ming Kitchen. <laughs> Alright. So, you got that? And just uh, mash this up, and this is the final touch, everyone. And to make it a little bit better, since the rice does have a decent amount within everything, we drizzle some more honey on the rice. And like I said, not too much, but just enough to make that sweet kick. And also, it softens up the rice even more, so you can just blend it in here. And with the amount this much, I guess it's kind of obvious, but you just don't stir it too hard or everything flies out. So. But yeah, it is good. Uh, awesome color mix. Um, I like that we have purple onions this time because it has that light purple kind of feel to it. Um, usually I cook with just regular onions, the yellow or white onions. Um, this is a better touch. And I think purple onions have a stronger kick too, so. But yeah, this is uh, basically it. And um, like I said, it's very easy. A little time consuming with the chopping up of the vegetables and uh, waiting for everything to cook here, but uh, it's not complicated. It's very easy, very healthy. Um, like I said, no oil, no extra fat or salt or sugar, unless you count the honey, but. Um, I would like to call this vegan, but I don't know if you can call honey vegan food. Uh, that's up for debate, but for right now, to stay on the safe side, I'll just call it vegetarian. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, that's it. So it smells great. Um, the vegetables and the onions and the fruit all come together very nicely. Um, we're gonna let it sit for about another minute or so, but that's really it. So. Um, this is my pineapple and vegetable concoction. I'm still working out the name, I have no idea. Pineapple fried rice will be okay, but like I said, there's no oil and it's not really fried, so. Um, I don't know, I'll come up with a name, but this is it, and I think it looks great. It tastes better than it looks, and uh, yeah, that's really it. So, um, that's all I gotta say, and uh, you can make it for yourself at home at any time. All right, so that's it. I'm Chi Ming out, peace.